Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Okay, well today we're going to address a subscriber request. I received a question about camera animation. Okay, so how can we use cameras? How can we animate cameras and so forth? And we're going to go through the basics. All right. So what do I got here? I got a city scene that has been modeled by uh, Herminio, and I hope I pronounced it correctly. And I downloaded this as a free model from uh, tf3dm.com. Uh, so it's for non-commercial use. So if you download stuff from there and you've got free models, keep that in mind, okay? But uh, good job on the modeling, so thanks, Sir Herminio. All right. So we're going to use this scene for our camera animation. And what I did is I created a little sphere right there. And that sphere is going to move through our street. Okay. I'm just going to make sure I'm at frame one. I'm just going to hit play. And as I hit play, you simply see the ball moving through the street. Okay, nothing to it. Alrighty, back to frame one. Now, when we introduce cameras, the first question is, why do we need a camera? Because I can see it right now, right? I just hit play and I see the ball rolling down there. Well, first of all, you kind of see the entire shot up front and there's not really, you know, it's still position. The only thing that's moving is the ball, okay? So let's start by introducing a camera to our scene. So we're going to go up to create, we're going to go to cameras and select camera. I'm going to hit W to move that up a little bit and I'm going to pull it over here. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to position it behind my sphere. Hit E to rotate it so it's facing towards the sphere and kind of check the height there. Raise that up just a little maybe a little higher than that and just hit E and tilt it slightly. All right, so that's our camera. Now I wanna know what I will see when I look through the camera, okay? So what I'm gonna do is with the camera selected, I'm gonna go up to panels, I'm gonna go to look through selected and that's what we got. So the camera isn't animated yet, but at least we uh, introduced a camera, okay? So let's hit play and see what happens. And there you go. This, for example, could be used for a shot when you have a character kind of walking away in the ending scene, you know, like in the old westerns and so forth. But they would probably be on a horse. OK, cool. So that's option number one. So what else do we got? We're going to go back to our normal view. So we're going to go to perspective and perspective. And instead of having a stationary camera, and I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to create a new one, create camera and camera. Once again, hit W, pull that up, move that over here. I want the camera to follow my object. Okay. So I'm just going to point it at the sphere pretty much from here. Maybe hit E and kind of tilt it just a little and hit W and raise that up. Then we're going to have a quick look through our camera. Okay, cool. We're going to go back to perspective. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent the camera to the object. So with the camera selected, I'm going to shift select my sphere and I'm going to hit P on my keyboard. Now with that done, um, the camera becomes a child of the sphere who's the parent. Okay. So where the sphere goes, the camera goes. Just going to hit play to see if it worked. Yeah, it did. Cool. We're going to go back to frame one. We're going to go up to panels and look through selected. And now we're going to play the animation this way and see what we got. And as you can see, now it's following the sphere nicely and you see your uh, everything in the back moving along. All right. Okay, cool. So one more. What if we can have a nice camera shot from the sky? for example. All right. We're going to delete our sphere. We don't need that. I'm going to go to window and outliner. And let's see what else do we got going on there? Not too much. Good, good. Just checking. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a path for our camera. So we're going to go to create. We're going to go to curve tools. CV curve tool. Okay. 
And let's start somewhere around here. And I'll hit force for wireframe mode so we can kind of see what's going on. Okay, and I'm just gonna move around like this. All right, something like that, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit E and I'm gonna rotate this upwards. Okay, I'm gonna get five for shaded mode. And obviously I want my starting point to be at least above the floor. So it's up here, all right. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna create a camera. Let's go to create and camera. There we go. And that camera is down there, but that's fine. I'm gonna shift select my curve. And in my animation tab, I'm gonna go to constraint and motion path attached to motion path. So now my camera is attached to my curve. It's gonna move along this curve line and it will do that for the duration of the number of frames in my animation for my curve, okay? And up there you can see a number, 200, which means 200 frames, okay? First, I'm gonna quickly just click to see if my camera is moving. And it is, cool. We're gonna go back and uh, we're now gonna go to panels and look through selected, uh, which already gives us uh, kind of a neat view, okay? I'll just close this out so we can see it better and close this out. And we'll just give this a go and see what's going on. All right, you can see that the curve line is a bit bumpy uh, but all in all, this is the method to use. Okay. So just a few thoughts on uh, camera animation. Uh, obviously, you can tweak this, you know, hours and hours. But I just wanted to show you the basics. Okay. So hopefully it was helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. Love to see you guys again. Bye.